right, guys, thanks for tuning into this week's episode of Sketch Sync TV. Uh, sorry we've been absent for a little while, uh, posting videos and content. Uh, we've been really, really busy. Thanks to you guys uh, sending us to your projects. Okay, so this week's episode, we are doing a uh, full paint job on a motorcycle. Uh, it's actually for a good friend of mine who I grew up with, um, Matt. He brought us his uh, 2013 Victory Hammer. So to give you some background, uh, Matt and I actually grew up playing baseball together uh, when we were really, really young. You know, no facial hair, super, super young. Grew into really, really good friends. Uh, we ended up going to school together, um, Bridewood Elementary School, if anybody knows where that is. Shout out to you guys. High school, always became really, really good friends. Um, and now we're here, so um, we get to paint his motorcycle. All right, so with, with any project, especially on motorcycles, uh, first thing we have to do is take everything apart. So basically everything that I'm painting um, has to come off the bike. Um, tank, rear fender, one up seat, two side covers, headlight, um, front fender, and two side covers. So, so because um, Matt's front fender had some chrome bits on it, we actually don't want to paint those. So what I have to do is tape them off so when we go to sand it, we're not going to mess up the chrome at all. painful as it is to sand bright shiny black. Um, basically we have to prep all these for paint so I'm going to sand them all down with 400, um, clean up all the shiny spots because uh, paint won't stick to that. As with most motorcycles um, you're always going to get dings and scratches and little imperfections in the paint so we're going to use some body filler, fill in the, the low spots, sand them down nice and smooth and get them ready for primer. All right, so the parts that we did some body work on, we need to prime those. We need to give the paint something to stick to. So there are only a couple parts that actually had body work done. So we're going to put those in the booth first, do some primer. All right, to save some time, um, we did a process called wet on wet. And what that means is you're doing um, your primer and then your clear your um, base coat color right after instead of sanding in between. So we took the primer parts out of the booth. Um, we're going to put the non-primer parts in. We're going to paint everything black. So to make sure all the parts are clean, we're going to wipe them down with DX, which is basically a wax and grease remover. And then we're gonna paint the rest of the parts black. You can call me stupid. Yes, you can call me sheep. You can say I lay a C. You can say I weep. You think that using her would get to me. And if you're right, then you're in trouble, D. Cause I won't break my eyes. All right, so now all the parts are black. We need to let it cure for about 20 minutes to half an hour, depending on how warm it is. And then we're gonna clear cut everything. But when it comes to her, you better keep it sealed. Don't you dare say a single word, or I will strike you where it feels. Okay, so now the base coat color is cleared. Um, we're gonna orbital sand everything makes it go a little bit faster, um, and then we're gonna wet sand after that to get everything ready for flames. So now that all the parts are base coat black, cleared, prepped, and ready for paint, now we're gonna get ready to mask them off for the flames. So because of the shape of the bike, all the parts kind of 
fit together. Normally, if it was just a three-piece front fender, rear fender, and tank, um, we wouldn't have to put it on the bike, but because everything kind of flows together, we're gonna assemble the bike entirely um, so that when I mask off the flames, everything flows together. Uh, so right now, I'm laying down the flames. Um, it's kind of a cool shaped tank, so it's one of those things you just have to feel out and um, basically start from scratch. Um, I don't really have kind of a design in mind. I know the finished look that I'm going for, but as far as what looks good on the tank, you pretty much just have to start from scratch and start laying some out. You know, if you put a flame here, but it doesn't quite fit with the other one, then you have to kind of adjust and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, it's just kind of trial by fire, uh, pun intended, and uh, you go from there. There's no real uh, tricks to it, I guess. It's all, the flames are all about proportion, so. Um, really just, you know, the easiest way to start with flames is to, um, you know, basically start tracing. Um, you can do, uh, what do you call it, charcoal etching, and then basically gives you the outline and then, you know, start your flames from there. But again, it's just all about proportions and you can see if one side's too thin or one side's too thick and you just keep going until it looks right. All right, so this is a question I've been getting a lot. Um, what tape do I use to do my masking? For flames and anything that has lots of curves or edges to it, what I use is actually a really, really thin uh, 16th inch wide uh, vinyl tape. All right, so about uh, five to six hours later, all the outlines of the flames are done. Um, now we're gonna move on to masking. We're going to disassemble the entire bike and mask off all the outside, the parts that we don't want paint to stick to. Now that it's time to paint the flames. We're doing ghost flames on this bike. Basically what that means is they're not actually gonna be solid flames like you'd see on a hot rod. They're meant to look ghost. They're not predominant flames, so you'll see them more predominantly in certain light, and then at other light, they're not gonna be as crisp. After I did all the airbrushing for all the flames, you have to let that cure. Um, you don't want the paint to be too soft when you peel it off. Now it's the fun part is taking off all the tape and see what it's gonna look like. So we peeled the tape off, we put a final coat of clear, and now it's time to put the bike back together. Now that all the bike's back together, um, we're going to do some spot polishing and final polishing of the bike. And we brought it outside and see what it's going to look like in the sun. Thank you. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching this uh, week's episode of Sketches Inc. TV. Um, really appreciate you guys commenting, sharing. Um, we've gotten a lot of uh, love from all the viewers. Um, keep it up. This is for you guys. If you have comments, questions um, about the episodes or any of the projects that we do, please get in touch with us. We love hearing from you guys.